Hi guys, welcome to third grade. After nine lesson three, we're going to go ahead and get started. So I'm going to tell you a little secret about this. Um, it says comparing fractions with the same numerator. I'm going to give you a hint. We don't care if the top number is the same. The only time it matters is if the bottom number is the same. Okay, so we are going to, you can absolutely draw it out like this. No harm in that. I'm going to go ahead and do my butterfly method though. Okay, so all I did is I'm taking the numerator of the first one with the denominator of the second one and then doing the opposite. Above that, I'm going to write how much it is. Okay, so 3 times 6 is 18. 3 times 8 is 24. That makes this one bigger. Okay, let's do it again. Okay, 2 thirds and 2 fourths. Okay. Okay, so 2 times 4 is 8, 2 times 3 is 6, 2 thirds is bigger. Okay, I'm going to let you guys finish up through number 9 doing that. Don't make it harder than it's got to be, guys. It's super easy, okay? Okay. Javier is buying food for the lunch or in the lunch line. The tray of salad plates is 3 eighths full. The tray of fruit plates is 3 quarters full. Which tray is more full? So again, Three eighths, three quarters. Okay, I'm gonna go eight times three, 24. Four times three, 12. This one's bigger. So, fruit plates. Okay, all right. Rachel bought some buttons. Of the buttons, two quarters of, are yellow and two eighths are red. Rachel bought more of which color button? Two quarters, two eighths, four times two is eight. Eight times two is 16. This one is bigger. That is yellow. Okay. All right, guys. I'm going to go into the back where you guys are going to do a lesson check just like always and we're going to go down and do a spiral review okay it says i need to divide a circle and do six equal parts she did one of the parts what fraction names the part she shaded okay well she has six all together so that's going to be our denominator okay she only did one of them that's it guys you're done okay don't make it harder than it's got to be, okay? Now, I know that this one is super hard for you guys to see, so I'm going to go ahead and color it in right now really fast. Okay? All right. What fraction names the shaded part of the rectangle? Well, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So the denominator is 8. And there's 1, 2 that are shaded. And that's it, guys. All right. We're going to go down to number five. It says, Chip worked at the animal shelter for six hours each week for several weeks. He worked a total of 42 hours. How many weeks? So, six times blank is 42. Or 42 divided by six. Again, if you guys don't know your multiplication chart, you need to. So, find a way that helps you to remember what they are and get on it, guys. So, I know that 6 times 7 is 42, so it's going to be 7 weeks. Okay? Mr. Jackson has 20 quarters. If he gives 4 quarters to each of his children, how many children does Mr. Jackson have? So we can do 20 divided by 4. Or we can do 4 times blank equals 20. Well, everybody knows that 4 times 5 is 20, so it's going to be 5. Children. Don't forget to label. Um, it's going to be children, not children. All right, guys. All right. Thanks for hanging out for 9.3. Come on back for 9.4. See you soon.